What's going on guys? We're in Seattle. It's 13 minutes until 5 p.m. We're pretty much approaching downtown as you can see in the background there possibly back there. Um, yeah, this guy's being crazy in front of us turning across like this. Oh, they got in an accident. Yeah, they're just stopping in the middle of the road. So I'm going to put it on full self-driving. See how we navigate past this accident in the middle of the freeway here. Ooh, we're trying to not let this guy go. And I had to slam the brakes on there. We were not going to stop for that truck there. All right, back on self-driving mode. Yeah, we're going. Well, the traffic cleared up a lot. I was gonna record some traffic, but it cleared up a ton. Um, I wasn't in full self-driving that whole time. You saw me click onto it, and I was gonna see how the car navigated around uh, that accident there, but yeah, you saw it. The car was not gonna stop for that black truck. I mean, I'm sure it would've eventually if we were like an inch from it, but I'm not going to risk that, you know, so um, I think we have more traffic coming up here and let's see how the car handles some traffic. As you can see, no hands, going to let the car do its thing. end up cutting this video uh, off once we get to town and make it another video I just wanted to show you how full self-driving handles uh, some traffic and then we got to see a little bit there with that accident um, I was surprised at how it handled that said this a million times in my videos but I love using full self-driving during traffic uh, got my foot off the gas and brake got my legs crossed chilling hands off the wheel don't have to make any decisions get over here in uh, any second now. We got an off-ramp here to the left and half a mile. So we're going to have to merge here pretty soon and there's a lot of cars. So let's, uh, oh, well, the car is actually smarter than me because although we have to merge in uh, less than half a mile, I believe there's another off-ramp right before and uh, the car knows that. You can see there's an express lane here and that's going to turn before our actual exit. So when I was thinking we have to get over now, the car knew, nope, not yet. So. Another benefit of a full self-driving is, 
and, I, and I've talked about it before, when you're not sure what, you know, where you need to be to merge, you know, to downtown or, or an off-ramp or a different freeway, you know, you may be late or early. The self-driving knows where you're going and knows the roads ahead of you better than you do. And there's another example. Uh, so yeah, we can clearly be going faster than this. I know we're going the speed limit, but we are not going with the flow of traffic. But, um, yeah, so some good decisions made by the FSD and then a, you know, kind of a surprisingly bad one, but I won't really hate on it too much because I barely just clicked onto FSD, so it didn't have a lot of time to, you know, recognize the situation. So I'm going to give it a, a pass for that, even though we were kind of getting close there to that black truck. I think we would have stopped eventually, but.